This is a brief video having to do with the alignment and direction of text on a PowerPoint 2013 slide. When you start thinking about changing the direction of text or how it's aligned, you have to think of text as an attribute of the container that it's in. Here's the slide we've been working with, with four bulleted items on it. And you can see those bulleted items are in a placeholder on the standard content slide. Now if I want to change something about the attributes of this text, uh, such as alignment or its direction, I select the shape that contains the text. Uh, I clicked on the border here. You can see the border is a solid line now. That means it is selected. I can then right click that selection and I do not want to choose edit text. Rather, I want to choose format shape. And when I do that, the format shape dialog box will open and uh, notice that I have access to text options. Okay, this is easier to find than it used to be in PowerPoint uh, 2010 and previous versions. And the effects are somewhat different too. Uh, in the text options area, I have three choices. One having to do with the text fill or the text outline. Uh, for example, I could change the color of the text to orange here. Okay, let me undo that. That's just an example. I also have access to the sh text effects. Um, shadow, reflection, glow. Uh, for example, if I, if I wanted to put an orange glow on this text, I could do it here and make it large and do um, other unusual things. I don't want to do either of those things though. What I really want to do is affect its alignment and its direction. And that's on this third control here, the one that uses the little text box icon. Uh, notice that the first item in the uh, control box is the vertical alignment. So I can choose top, middle, bottom, top centered, and so on. Okay, I'm going to go back to top. I can also choose the text direction. Uh, text by default is horizontal, but I can change it to rotate it by 90 degrees, rotate 270, okay. You won't use these often, but sometimes, especially on tables and charts, uh, this comes in handy. Or you can do something called stacking the text. Now, in an example like I've got here, um, uh, it will be hard to see a stacked example. So let me create a new slide here. I'm going to open my Home tab and create a new blank slide with nothing on it. And I'm going to use a shape. So I'll insert a shape. Uh, let's use the rounded corner rectangle. And I'll just type some text on here. Okay, that's good enough. Now, let's go ahead, select this container, go to Text Options, back to our control box, and I'll show you what stacked text looks like. Okay, and if my container were big enough, it would be stacked horizontally like that. Okay, I can go back to Horizontal, and that's the idea with stacked text. Notice also you can control the margins of the text here and also whether it wraps or not and you can create columns on objects or within containers. Use it all with using this uh, text box control panel. Okay, so that's just a quick video on how to control that. Thanks for listening.